name is Daniel Adam Fink. Thank you for viewing this first presentation on my YouTube channel. I have found the locations of several hundred place names which had been missing from the Bible. In this first video, I will introduce my methods so that you can understand the process and be certain that these names are accurate. This video is a brief introduction to my methods. I'm going to be showing you Aram and Egypt, two of the four Aramean provinces were already known. They were the northern and southern provinces. The two which had been missing for centuries were in between. One name is a cognate, which is the same name in two languages like Texas and Texas, and the other is a name meaning. Please see my additional tutorials for longer explanations, but in a nutshell. If you look at the center of this slide, you will see four names are mentioned in Genesis 10 Aram. Number one is Oats, two, Chul, three, Gather, four, Mas. Numbers two and four had already been known. Numbers one and three are directly in between. That's how easy this is. So if you look at the map on the left, the bottom left corner is a blow up. Just down from the center of that map is an orange box with a word Chul that was Kila, Syria. And in the green box at the top right is Mas, which is a cognate of Masias, Chul being a cognate of Kila, Syria. For years, no one could understand the meaning of Kila because it has no meaning in Greek. It is a cognate, like Texas and Texas. In between, the red oats is another cognate of os. Oats in Hebrew is os in Greek. And the yellow toward the right, gater, is the word meaning. The map on the right is a map of ancient wine. You can see the name in the yellow box is gater. That's the wine place. That province means the wine place, and there you have the four provinces of Aram, two which have been known for centuries, and the other two have been missing for centuries. The two that were missing for centuries are directly in between. Egypt and the entire rest of the Bible can be found using the same system, and it is the same level of simplicity. I follow the K-I-S-S -S principle. Anytime an explanation takes too many words and becomes convoluted, it no longer passes the smell test and is trying too hard. Anytime the answer is correct, it's easy. So, one of seven provinces of Egypt had been known so far, only the far south. So we work from that province. The name before that province is a cognate, the same name in two languages, like Odes and Os, Mash and Masias. The name before that particular province is again a name meaning, and the name before that province is again a cognate. We repeat this process across the entire Bible, and we find every name. Here we have the same method. These examples are from Egypt. The names are on the left, and Google Maps is on the right. On the left, we begin with the province which was already known. Genesis 10 verses 13 and 14 list seven provinces of Egypt. Number five, Patros, was known. Patrosim are the people of Patras. Patras means south. On the right, at the bottom center, you could see five known. Patrosim, Patros equals south. This is agreed upon by every biblical scholar. Then, we look up to the center of the map toward the right. Number four is a cognate. Neftachim. In Greek, Neftis has an S on the end like Perseus and Hercules because that's a very Greek ending like Mash becomes Masias. Hebrew uses a Chet as we all are all aware in words like Baruch, Neftis, Neftich, Neftich, Neftis. The Neftis Temple 
the Great Nephthys Temple from Egypt, is located at a place which was a dividing line 2250 BC and is a dividing line still to this day of modern Egyptian governorates. Five name meaning four cognate. Three name meaning Lahabim. Lahab means knife. Back to the right, top center. The other pair of two arrows between them, we have the word knife below the arrows and Memphis above the arrow. This was the great dividing line between Upper and Lower Egypt. The knife cut Egypt in half. That is the location of Lahab, and it divides a governorate to this day, just like the Nephthys Temple. And just north up from that X is a circle that is on Onam is the province around the city On, On being Heliopolis, the sacred city of Egypt. This is where Joseph is married in Genesis. Between Memphis and On is modern Cairo. This is the capital district of Egypt, and it has been for thousands of years. So in review, Egypt. Five, Patras, name meaning south. Four, Nephthys, Nephthahim. Cognate. Three, Lahab, name meaning knife. That is the district which divided Upper and Lower Egypt. Two, Onam, Onamim, the people from the province of On. All of this research, hundreds of names which have been missing, the same process to find all of them has led me to create the Arpachshad Atlas. My 28 Demo maps are already made. I am raising funds to complete this atlas. I'm very close. All I need to do is hire a cartographer to do an excellent job, the excellent job that you deserve, so that we can have an atlas with maps of hundreds of names which have never been mapped before. These hundreds of names this expanded understanding of the Bible, which I have worked over 3,000 hours on, is close to completion. As I say, I have demo maps. I am extremely close to being able to publish this atlas. Now, uh, this all came about because, like so many people, when COVID hit, I was terminated from my job. So many people were terminated from their jobs, and that afforded me the time to research something that I cared about, and I only wanted to find two locations, but in order to find those locations, I had to find dozens more, and by that point, I knew how to find the locations of what turned out to be roughly 700 missing names. This first link, the map of Mitzrayim, that is Biblical Egypt. I have for sale on Facebook Marketplace at this link. It's a beautiful map. I designed it myself. It's informative. It's affordable. And I'll tell you what. If you purchase this map today, when I complete my atlas, because I'm not trying to raise funds for me. I'm only trying to raise enough money to pay a cartographer to do the kind of job that you deserve to see this atlas. And when you look at this map, this map took a long time to create and I loved every minute of it. It's a great map. I want to do the best possible job for you. If you think it could be improved or anything that I do could be improved, tell me. I love feedback. I love constructive criticism. My bachelor's degree is in English. Everything I wrote was always criticized, and I appreciated it. My next link are Pakshad YouTube tutorials where I explain, so that you can be sure that I am telling you things that are accurate, and that make sense, and are understandable, and I'm transparent. I tell you how I do everything. This is a risky thing. I'm showing dozens of names, which had never been found before. The dozens of names I'm showing are a lifetime's work. However, they're only a tip of an iceberg. I'm telling you, every, the dozens of names I'm giving you represent only about 
of what I have to offer. And you don't have to take my word for it. Judge from the content. Last but not least, I have a GoFundMe page. My goal by the end of the calendar year 2022 is to have this atlas completed, available for purchase. Again, if you donate to the GoFundMe, I will send it to you at no, at no additional charge. I'm doing this so that everyone can understand the Bible more fully. The complete Arpachshad Atlas. Thank you for viewing this presentation. Please feel free to, free to comment. You can ask me questions if you're on the fence and you want to know more to make sure that this is money well spent, time well spent, and accurate information. Ask me. Thank you once again. My name is Daniel Adam Fink.